Well, it's been kind of an up and down year for Hunter Brown. Listen, you, the stuff is outstanding when you think about the fastball, curveball, slider combo. But on the season, six and seven, the ERA 4-1-9. Oh, one pitch is hit in the air right hand side and playable for Kyle Tucker. Both these teams generally do swing early in counts. We'll see what Wander Franco does after a two hit game yesterday. Line drive right field base hit past the reach of Abreu and on to straightaway right and Franco who had two hits yesterday maybe starting to see the bat come back a little bit to him and he's got his in the race first hit of the night. No. Well, there he goes the throw sails wide into center field from Diaz. And Franco into third. Well, wasting no time. And it's been a mixed bag with Hunter Brown as far as the running game goes. Opposing base stealers, 7 out of 13 against Hunter. But Wander Franco, we talked about it, 28 stolen bases on the year. Wasted no time. The 2-1. And that's hit in the air. Shallow left side. Going out, Bregman and Pena in the foul territory. Bregman makes the -the over-the-shoulder grab. Franco goes home. The throw to the plate by Bregman. The slide out at home. Franco can't believe it. Puts his hands over his ears indicating, hey, look at that. The inning is over for now, but let's see if the Rays challenge. Well, I think it was worth the risk, but it was a perfect one hopper by Bregman that may have nabbed him. After review, the call of no violation and home base is confirmed. Called out, stands. Taj Bradley looking to even up that record at six and six. This is 16th start of the season. The ERA 5-3-0. Look at the strikeouts though: 95 and 71 in the third innings. Wave and a miss. Strike three. He went slow. Breaking ball. His curveball at times is special. That's a pitch he's still working on the consistency of. Two and two. Yep. That's a three-quarter swing. Strike three. Yep. So they're, they're three of the last four pitches were change-ups. He had the one fastball that enticed him at the top of the zone. And the Astros have two men on with two out, and Jordan Alvarez coming to the plate. Pitch lifted in the air towards left. Should be playable, though, for Randy Rosarena, who moves to his right and makes the catch. And the Astros turned away, and they never got a hit in the inning, but an arrow walk and two left. Yeter Diaz, the batter, and a first pitch swing launched to center field. Siri back at the track. Siri leaps, and Siri is unable to make the play. Yiner Diaz gives it a ride, and the Astros are on the board first. Well, you want to talk about some pop to the big part of the field. I mean, 409 to straightaway center, and Diaz. Gets a pitch out over the plate. Let's see if the spark in last night's game-winning rally, Jose Siri, can be the spark here in the third for the Rays. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. Siri takes one low and away. Sharp breaking ball there. And there's one out on the first strikeout by Hunter. Here's the one, two. Got him, strike three. Big hammer curveball from Hunter Brown. And it's a one, two, three inning with the second strikeout. Top of the order, right-handed batter. Here's the first pitch from Brown. And it swung on, popped up, shallow right field, slicing into foul territory. Over his shoulder, and he makes the catch. Jose Abreu right over his right shoulder like a wide receiver catching that one in the corner of the end zone. That is not an easy play. And now the bases are loaded on two walks and a single. The bases are loaded here, and you've got trouble coming to the plate. The top of the order, Jose Altuve. Two strikes, wave and a miss. That was an absolute frisbee. That's what he throws. Two outs now for Pena, 0 for 2. He reached on an error and struck out. Breaking ball, ripped down the left field line, hooking, and that is a one hopper off the wall. McCormick scores, here comes Diaz, he'll score, here comes Myers. Play at the plate, he's saved. Bases clearing double for Pena, it's 5 0. Pena in the two hole makes him pay. Well, you said it, Steve. He took that first pitch fastball. Looked like he was looking for Kelly's breaking ball, and he got it on that second pitch. Wasn't a very good one by Kelly. Got a lot of the plate, but Pena was ready for it. Big two-out hit for the Astros. It comes off of the bat of the 25-year-old Jeremy Pena. Two on again for the Astros. Bottom four tonight for the Astros is three for five, three walks. They have scored all five runs. Slug to left center field. 
Siri at the warning track. Siri is not able to get there and make the catch. That goes pinging all the way back into center field. Two runs are in. It's a triple for McCormick and another center field wall tester for the Astros. Now, Jose Siri had so far to go to try to flag that ball down. Chaz McCormick, we talked about the last two hits weren't very well struck. Well, this one was. Yiner Diaz, who had a two run home run in the second, he is one for two. Should be an easy RBI for Diaz if he can get a good pitch. And Diaz rifles this one toward right center field. That's headed for the gap, and that's down for extra bases. One hops off the fence in front of the Astros bullpen. McCormick scores. Diaz in the second, an RBI double. He's driven in three today. Eight nothing Astros. He's such an animal. He just kissed that one the other way. He's so strong. Ground ball, base hit left field. To third base is Diaz. Heading home, a Rosarena's throw goes to the plate, and he's out of the plate. Bethencourt did a really good job there to feign that the throw wasn't there. And then as he caught it and snapped a tag on to his fellow catcher, looked like it got him on the back. To Abreu, who's been on base three times tonight. The 1-1. And that's hammer deep to right. It sends back Marco at the wall. Looking up. See you later. Three-run home run for Jose Abreu. Homers for a second straight day. And the Astros lead it 11 to nothing. Jose Abreu's reached base all four times today, that time going the other direction. Jose Abreu is trending up. That's the direction he's going. We saw Correa steps at the plate. He's walked and flied out. Rays are still going third time through the order against Hunter Brown, who has never given up a run against him. 1-2 is drilled in the air. Deep left field, way back there, and there comes the comeback. A two-run homer from Isak Paredes, his 19th. Rays are on the board. They will not be shut out. They finally scored against Hunter Brown. It's 11-2. Just like Charlie Morton, Rene Pinto is on the bounce. <laughs> Rene Pinto, the Rays backup catcher. That'll bring up Altuve, who's 0 for 4. Do hitters like hitting off position players? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think that they like it at all. Well, well, some of them do. <laughs> wow. An 0 for 4 just got a lot better. I mean, it was a marvelous setup by you. But uh, to your <laughs> to your point, hitters don't really like this, though, because there's no there's really there's no upside. very little good can happen, yeah. right? Bragman wax one left field and deep. And that one's gone. Third row into the Landry's Crawford boxes. Bregman, his 18th home run of the season, gives the Astros a 15-2 lead. Alvarez crushes this ball to right field. To the wall it goes. And why not one more? Jordan Alvarez hits his own tank, and it's 16-2. And that'll bring up Wander Franco. So the few bright spots in this game has been Wander's at bats. As that ball served in the air to left field, pretty well struck. Jolks back at the warning track, and Corey Jolks watches it fly. It's a home run, and Wander Franco makes it 16 to three. Ball four, bases are loaded. Six walk issued by Rays pitchers tonight. Jeremy Pena to third. This is going to be a tough double play to turn. They'll only get one. This goes popping off the glove of Paredes at first so it's 17 to 3. Rafael Montero is on the mound. This is in the air deep to left field toward the pole it goes and once again a baseball has left the yard for Isak Paredes again his second home run of the ball game. Wave and a miss strike three and the Astros pile on 17 to four tonight with thunder all night long.